This setup is everything. A culmination of years worth of work and passion piled into one room. It's more than just a setup, it's my setup. My safe space, my zone, <laughs> my crib. Designed with efficiency, class, style, personality, and comfort in mind, this studio helps me create content for YouTube and TikTok as well as to relax at night and game, watch TV, hang out with my friends, etc. So uh, yeah, let me show you around. Before we start though, the camera that I'm recording all of this on is the Lumix S5 II. It was about $2,200 and it's a step away from being Netflix approved for actual movies. And I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, set up. Yep, yeah, sorry. On the left side is my chill zone. I won't spend too much time over here since honestly, I still want to work on this area a lot, but I've got a mini fridge, a TV, two wall mounted speakers, a very empty snack bar, a whole bunch of sound panels mounted up to my wall, along with a lot of neon signs. This back door in the back of my office actually goes to my backyard, which is why I have have curtains because I don't want people peeking into my office because that's weird. It's a pretty calm little spot that works for what it's supposed to do and I like it. Still gonna improve it though so stay tuned for that video. There's also a loot llama that my mom gave me when I was super young that just holds a very special place in my heart. I have a couch and on the wall above it I have Bo Burnham's entire inside special on limited edition vinyl framed on the wall. The reason I have this on my wall is because inside honestly inspired me to continue doing YouTube instead of just quitting. It proved to me that even if I'm just a guy in my room with a camera and a microphone that I can still make something that's really cool and that could maybe touch a lot of people and I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, moving on to the right side of the room, we have my productivity and gaming setup. This is where I work, game, stream eventually, and spend most of my day so I figure if I'm spending so much time here, it better be comfortable and enjoyable. When I'm doing anything over here, my ass is firmly planted in the Secret Lab Titan Evo. A little basic as far as popularity goes, but it's comfortable so can you blame me? I've got it in the cookies and cream colorway which just goes so well with everything else in my setup and honestly, I love the way it looks feels, swivels, goes back and forth. I don't know. It's a chair, man. It's not that special. On the left side, I have an accent wall that serves as a background for my YouTube videos and eventually live streams. The wall itself is made of 20 by 20 inch vine panels that I got off of Amazon that were super easy to install. And if you're interested in how I did that along with the rest of this setup build, check out the video in the top right corner. Absolutely shameless plug. I've got a neon sign of Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle, which is a phenomenal movie that has a lot of phenomenal memories around it. And I got this thing from Etsy. It was about $250 and no, I I'm not proud of that. I've got two shelves on my accent wall that are actually made from excess board that I cut off of my desk. I have some neat little fake Amazon plants on those shelves with two keyboards on them. This one is a custom build that I did a while ago that has Akko jelly white switches and Amazon PBT keycaps and a wooden build kit from KBD fans. The other one is a very atypical Ducky 1-2 mini with, again, Amazon PBT keycaps. Oh, and here's the Karambit that I use to unbox things that makes me feel like I look cool while I'm doing things even though I'm not cool and I just have a CSGO skin as my unboxing knife anyway. On the opposite side of the room, I have an Ikea Feshka that I used to just kind of fill the space. I don't know, I just like greenery and fake plants and I think they bring a little bit of life to my office. I've got a Govi Glide on the wall behind it that I used to accent a poster that commemorates a class trip that I took to Zion National Park in the summer after 10th grade. I had bleach blonde hair, we're not gonna talk about that phase. On the wall behind my setup, I have a few floating shelves with a PlayStation controller, a Gundam that I got from Fan Expo in New Orleans, a very functioning lightsaber, and two small little personal items that were both gifts from old friends of mine. Up top, I've got more fake plants, a Pokemon statue, a 10 subscriber YouTube plaque that my parents gave me when I was 12 that, again, will mean more to me than even a diamond play button ever could. And also the cube from Hellraiser, because I don't know, I like the movie. Before I get into my peripherals, I feel like this is a good time to talk about how I paid for all this. Switch the focus there so that it's on my face. Anyways, yeah, how did I pay for, like, all of this? Since 2021 or 2022, I've been doing professional freelance video editing online, and right now it is my full-time job, and I am very blessed to say that at 18 and in high school, I have never had to work a single day at an actual job. I paid for my computer, my desk, my mouse, my microphone, most of the decorations in this room, the neon sign, with the money that I got from that job, along with my car outside. Now, professional online freelance video editor might sound cool, but in layman's terms, it basically just means I work for YouTubers. But what YouTubers you're asking as I fix the focus on my camera? At the moment, I'm a full-time editor for Gutsy Aiden. I do his long-form videos and most of his shorts on his TikTok and his YouTube. And I also do some occasional work for John John Tech. We're not quite at the fully employed stage yet, but I'll be there soon, so just give it time. Anyways, if you guys are interested in a video on how I do video editing as a full-time job, leave a comment down below and hey, maybe I'll just like make a tutorial or something. I don't know. Okay, back to the setup tour. Bye-bye. Subscribe. <laughs> Sorry, yap session done. Resuming. The big light on my desk is a newer CB60 and I use 
use it for a whole bunch of stuff from lighting my face during YouTube videos to um yeah to lighting my face during YouTube videos. Oh, and there's a Godox CS65D lantern softbox on the front of it. Big light. The reason that I've got a lantern softbox instead of just leaving it blank is that it diffuses the light really nicely so there aren't a bunch of gross ugly harsh shadows and it just kind of lights the room really well whenever I want to record. My primary monitor is a gigabyte monitor. It's a 32 inch 1440p 165 hertz gaming monitor that I use for intensive Fortnite sessions and video editing, which is again how I afforded this whole setup and is my full time job. Both of my side monitors are cheap little 27 inch 60 hertz Dell monitors that have a great YouTube channel pulled up on them so you should subscribe and like the video that I think right now. Please thank you. Anyways, on my desk I use a nifty little Amazon Alexa that serves to turn on and off all my lights and that's it. Anyways, for my content creation gear I have an Elgato low profile boom arm because I just don't like big arms that get in the way and this thing has like a nice little case to put the cable in and it just looks clean and it is clean and I like it even if it was a hundred dollars and probably a bit of a waste of money. And I have a Shure SM7B as my primary microphone because I'm a giant victim of consumerism and I can't form an original thought when it comes to finding gear that I like instead of gear that other people like. Don't judge me. I know it's a $400 microphone and I probably wasted money on it, but shut up. It's fun. I'm stunting a Yunzi AL71 as my primary keyboard, which is connected to a Vasher Force aviator cable. It was $20 for a cable. I think it looks good. I think it was worth it. Maybe you don't. I could have used the cable that came with the keyboard, but I didn't want to. So Oh, and for my mouse, I have a Ponage Ultra Custom Ambidextrous Mouse, and all of this is on top of a gutsy Aiden Icy Science World Mouse Pad. As I mentioned previously, Aiden is my boss. Love you, Aiden. Thank you for sending this out. Real quick, I'm just going to go over this. I use DT990 Pros for my headphones, and then I also have a Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 for my audio interface. I'm really not doing anything special here. Nobody really cares. Moving on to the fun part, the PC. Finally, my PC was about $3,500, and it is my primary workhorse for editing and gaming. I've got an RTX 4070 Ti, a Ryzen 9 7950X, two sticks of 32 gigabyte Corsair Dominator Platinum memory that are DDR5, a Corsair H100i Elite AIO, and some AORUS B650 motherboard that I honestly forgot the info. You don't really care about the motherboard, do you? Nah. And yeah. So yeah, that's the whole setup tour. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like. Also, thank you for the massive support on this video. This is absolutely unbelievable, and it's so cool to see people, you know, start to enjoy the videos that I make. All right, anyways, bye! YouTube 2017 outro. Bye!